What is going on people? Mr. King World here, and I want to apologize right off the bat. Uh, I have no idea why the first 20% uh, of this match did not record correctly. I honestly don't know what happened. So what we're left is what you, with what you see here. I don't know what. Uh, see, we already our team is already at 20 tickets, and at this point, I'm about. Well, as of the beginning of this match, I was about five and three maybe. So you're you're not missing much. It was pretty ugly to start, and uh, a big reason for that is this is thus far the first and only time that I have ever played Sunken Dragon TDM from the Dragon Teeth DLC. And although that guy wanted to play a game of catch, and I was too busy shooting him, uh, I gotta say that I actually like, I do enjoy Dragon's Teeth, or this particular map anyway, for TDM. Um, it is a little bit difficult at times because there are so many layers and floors, and you don't want to be outside, because where you want to be is upstairs, in in the actual uh, Sunken Dragon, whatever this... Uh, uh, restaurant ship thing here is uh, you want to be upstairs and uh, I will tell you right now that I am never once upstairs in this match um, and because as far as I know the only way to get up there is through that center uh, room the stairways and I never uh, I never had the uh, the confidence that I was going to be able to make it up the stairs without getting shot in the head so I uh, have just been I'm just roaming around here on this bottom floor sometimes Sometimes sneaking outside for some fresh air, but not too often. I'm usually just hanging out in this bottom floor for this match. Um, but I will say that I, the next time I play this map for TDM, I will definitely make a concerted effort to go upstairs. Because I prefer the high ground. And I don't have the high ground, and it makes me sad. But I'm um, using the MPX. This is... Um, you see, I'll, I'll unlock a couple things in this match for it because at this point, I think I've used it for maybe one match going into here. And man, I really like this thing. And I would like to have a suppressor on it, but I don't have a suppressor unlocked yet, so this is what you're seeing. Um, and again, I don't know exactly how well a suppressor would help out because even if you look at the minimap, there's there's so many floors on this building here that uh, it you know you don't even know just because you see a a little orange Dorito behind you doesn't necessarily mean that the guy is standing behind you. He could be upstairs, downstairs, wherever. And um, and I want you to pay attention to this rubble pile right here. This rubble pile comes into play, and I didn't know my teammate died. But and there's a I, I, apparently there's a uh, there's a a fan of the Hunger Games standing behind me and shot me in the back. But that rubble pile right there comes into play at the end of this match, and it's not in a good way. And apparently. If you're standing on that rubble pile, you are invincible. But we'll we'll get into that here in a little bit. Some kind of a I don't know. But MPX. Okay, so let me tell you about the MPX. Very good. I love it. Uh, you know, yeah, the 26 uh, rounds in the mag can be a little off-putting for a fast shooting, RP, high RPM. Man, that was that was overplaced that time, Mercury. But luckily, that guy doesn't always do them. But for a high RPM. Um, PDW, it could be a little off-putting to only have 25 rounds. However, my favorite class in general, my favorite class of weapons are PDWs. I love the hip fire. I love uh, you know, the twitch shooting. And, and this map in particular is a very twitch shooting uh, style map. You don't really have time to react. You can't really uh, play, uh, you know, you can't really set up shop anywhere. You need to, you need to have your head on a swivel and it's actually a nice change of pace from some of the other maps that you'll see in, in Battlefield 4. And here I believe that my teammate may have saved my life right there. I don't know if I would have been able to get around uh, to shooting that guy in time or not. But So I want to thank that guy, whoever you are. The guy, yeah, the guy's hopping around right now. And uh, this guy took a took a dive and I threw a grenade way over his head. But so yeah, I got a kill assist, but I don't want to believe that he's dead. I don't believe it. And apparently he is, so... Yeah, I mean, basically, I, I'm running into a lot of crap here, and I'm just standing down here in the bottom floor, and uh, especially towards the, the second half, you know, the later parts of this match, most of the enemy team is upstairs, or outside with their little sniper rifles on the hills, or uh, airburst or something. And, um, yeah, as much as I'd like to be upstairs, I feel that there'd be more action, I'd get more kills up there. I'm just a little hesitant to to try to make it up those stairs when I know that the enemy team is probably already up there 
staring at the stairs waiting for somebody to go up. So I'm just roaming around the bottom here and uh it's so far it seems pretty fast paced. It's not uh it's it's not boring by any means. And uh, this guy, come on, where are you at? There you go. Yeah, MPX, I'm loving this thing for, for a TDM style uh, 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 match. Now, I do use a suppressor on PDWs, I want to say 100% of the time when I have it. Unless I'm playing like Conquest. If I decide to use a PDW with Conquest, I might not put a suppressor on then, only because suppressors do cut your range in about half and you already don't have very good range to start with. I don't know where my friendly recon buddy just, how he died, he must have hit a claymore or something. So here I'm out of ammo, I'm trying to decide, do I want my friend's recon kit? Do I want uh, this guy's uh, support kit? So I decided to pick up this support kit and it looks like I got an RPK here, a uh, little 46 rounder. And that's, that's, I prefer that. I don't know what gun the other guy had, but I don't want to run as a recon if I don't have to. If I, if I uh, can't use a PDW, I'd rather have the high round, uh, high capacity magazine of a LMG, so. Kind of roam around. And here I see some guy way off in the hills with an airburst. I just switched to my secondary from this kit that I picked up, in, or se not secondary, but, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I see that the kit that I picked up had an airburst, so I figured, well, why not I just, why don't I just shoot this guy with this airburst instead. And uh, over here, okay, here in just a second, you're about to see this. Now, here we go. A guy jumps down. I'm going to shoot this son of a bitch right in the face. Watch this. Hip fire. Oh, come on, man. I know hip fire is not very accurate with LMGs, but this is ridiculous. It looks like I'm shooting. It looks like the end of my gun is right on like a wooden wall. Or something. And obviously, he's right there exposed. I shot 46 rounds at him. Uh, that's obviously a uh, eh, problem with the problem with the map there design hopefully they get that sorted out so uh, they finally spawned me upstairs at the very end of the game which is where I wanted to be the whole time so I figure I'd go ahead and kill these last two guys to end it and yeah I don't know if you're on that little pile there I don't know if you can actually shoot out uh, that guy kind of was jumping around for a while but if you can be there and you can shoot but people can't shoot you that's that's way OP so I don't know if that's uh, something that's being taken care of or what but I did not particularly care for that and then at the end, when they finally did swallow me upstairs, the game ended right away. I was only able to get two kills, but that's where I wanted to be the whole time. And next time I play this match, I'm going to try this map rather. I'm going to I'm going to make an effort to get up there because that's where I wanted to be. So um, yeah, there you have it. We win. It's all good. Thanks for watching. It's been real and it's been fun, but it has not been real fun. We will see you next time, people. Later. Thank you. It's a wrap.